All right, so today I'm gonna to go over seven easy remote jobs for beginners. These are gonna be jobs that it's very easy to get into. Typically, you might be able to get into them in less than a month. And some of them you can even get paid in less than a week. So this is gonna be a great video for someone who needs to get a job now, and they wanna get a remote job where they can make money online. And this is gonna be from somebody who literally specializes in helping people get remote jobs. And I've also hired a bunch of people and I've paid well over $100,000 to different freelancers and people who work online over the last few years. So I'm coming at this kind of from an employee's perspective as well as somebody who actually hires people. So with that being said, if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump right into it. So the first one on this list is going to be transcription jobs. So you're basically going to get audio recordings of people talking and you are going to transcribe those audio recordings into the written word. According to Glassdoor, transcriptionists make about $67,000 a year. You you can also see different freelancing transcriptionists and how much they make on Upwork. So for instance, Charlene makes $60 an hour. She's earned over $7,000. Javier makes $63 an hour. He's earned over $100,000 and he's from Colombia. So in Colombia, obviously $63 an hour is incredible. So yeah, transcriptionists can make amazing money. It's especially good if you're fluent in multiple languages. The reason Javier is probably able to make $63 an hour is I'm guessing he's probably fluent in both Spanish and English. So some companies you might want to check out if you're looking to get a job as a transcriptionist would be Babel Type, AccuTrans Global, Scribe or Transcribe Me. And a good website to look for these jobs might be Translator Base. Next one on the list is going to be Customer Service Representative. So I think everybody knows what this is. Somebody's having an issue with a product or a service and they call the company to get help. And the person that they're typically going to talk to is going to be a customer service representative. According to Glassdoor, customer service representatives make $55,000 a year. So you can easily get a job as a customer service representative in less than a month. You have a massive advantage if you have an English or American accent. And the reason for this is people are kind of tired of talking to people with other accents. No offense to those people, but it can be a little bit frustrating. And they would much rather talk to somebody who has an accent from the country that they are from. This also tends to be an extremely flexible job. There's people who travel across the country in vans and they work as customer service representatives. Basically, all you need is a phone and a laptop. That's it. Next one on the list is going to be probably the easiest job you could possibly get, but it's a little bit mind numbing, but it can be good for a short period of time. And that is data entry. According to Glassdoor, people who work in data entry make about $53,000 a year. And basically you have some sort of spreadsheet with a bunch of data on it and you enter that data in a logical way into another source, right? So sometimes that's gonna involve cleaning up the data a little bit or sometimes it's literally just copy paste. So yeah, I don't think I need to say too much about this one. Very simple, very easy job probably pretty boring for someone like me anyways to do this for like 12 hours or eight hours but it is super easy to land these types of jobs next one on the list is going to be teaching english online so this is actually a multi-billion dollar industry and this is exactly what it sounds like you're going to be teaching english online to people who are in countries like china or south korea and according to Glassdoor, online English teachers make about $79,000 a year. It does help if you're a multilingual. So for instance, if you speak Korean and English, that's going to really help you out. But with that being said, a lot of people get into this with very little experience and no certification or training. There are websites out there like Cambly where you can do this kind of like on a part-time basis. And there's also a ton of opportunities out there for you to get full-time work. So the next one on the list is going to be social media management and content creation. This is an emerging industry that's growing so rapidly and there's so many different jobs and niches and sub niches that are popping up. Now this could be something as simple as responding to tweets on Twitter for a company or it could be getting hired to reach out to blogs in order to try to get backlinks to your company's blog. You also might get hired to create infographics for the company to post on social media. There's so many different niches and sub niches like I said here but just know that this is an incredibly fast expanding industry. And according to Glass door you make about seventy thousand dollars a year with this one and this is technically a type of digital marketing which is the next one on the list according to Glassdoor, digital marketers make about eighty six thousand dollars a year and there's a bunch of different types of digital marketing you might do paid ads you could do seo which is search engine optimization or you might do email marketing so this is actually a position that i'm trying to hire within the next year or so i'm going to try to hire somebody who is a writer for me who also has experience in seo which is search engine optimization 
because I'm trying to launch my blog. So this can be a great opportunity for freelancing as well as somebody who wants to get a full-time job. Now, the next one on the list is probably the one that has the highest potential for earning, and it might be the biggest opportunity on this entire list, and that is going to be tech sales. Now, according to Glassdoor, technology sales makes about $106,000 a year. And basically what this is, is you work in a sales role for a B2B type business. B2B means it's a business that sells products or services to other businesses, not to consumers. And that means it's not going to be some kind of sketchy telemarketing job or, you know, used car salesman type of sales. It's understanding what the other business needs and then making sure that your business has a product or service that solves their problem. And a lot of it is basically going to be relationship management. Now, I've done a lot of different interviews with people on this channel who have gotten into tech sales. There's so many incredible stories and all of them have taken the free training, which is offered by Course Careers. Now, Course Careers, on top of offering this free training, also has a service where you can actually get trained by them in a specific role, and they're going to get you interviews with different tech sales companies. So you can check out that free training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, and check out the interviews that I've done with people who have gotten into tech sales. For instance, Della was able to go from stay-at-home mom to making over $100,000 a year in a month and a half. And I'll make sure that pops up right here.